July is Culinary Arts Month, and if you don't uh, have any skills in the kitchen, you're going to want to pay attention to this next interview. We have a chef in house, and it's a good time to try to make something new right at home. And joining us today to talk all about it is Executive Chef Pedro Zuniga from the Brio Tuscan Grill at the Liberty Center in Liberty Township, and it's just one of two locations here in the tri-state. Pedro, thanks for being here. My pleasure to be here. How are you? Great. I love when we have cooking on the show because eating is one of my favorite pastimes. So what are we yeah, cooking up today? Too. Well, we're going to talk about the, uh, we have our national lasagna day uh, today and tomorrow, and we feature in our vegetable lasagna, which is very delicious. Um, on the bottom of the plate, it has roasted red pepper sauce, and it has layers of uh, roasted red peppers and uh, Romano cross eggplant and um, ricotta cheese, and it's finished with alfero sauce and basil. Which is delicious. It sounds so good. So, so I didn't even know there was National Lasagna Day. Yeah. There's a National Something Day for everything Correct. these days, right? Yeah. But it is Culinary Appreciation mm -hmm. Month. Um, how can people celebrate at home? What are some tips for some at home chefs who may not have the chops you have in the kitchen? Well, in the season, within the season, you know, um, summer season, grilling, um, we're gonna, today we're gonna make Brussels sprouts here in the set, uh, which usually uh, when you prep Brussels sprouts at home, you either boil them or uh, blanch them. We gonna we roast them and we pan sear them, which is it's, it's having fun. It's having fun with the, uh, the ingredients. Mixing it up a little bit. So we're gonna start off with some oh, olive that's oil. Over here, we're cooking. We're gonna start <laughs> with some olive oil. There we go. And then we're gonna add some roasted Brussels sprouts. So the roasted Brussels sprouts, you're gonna clean them. Okay. You're gonna cut them on half. You're gonna take the steam off, and you're gonna roast them with olive oil and salt and pepper. Okay. Then after that, okay. you're gonna put them on a pan with some more olive oil, and you're gonna. You're gonna add some capers, which capers are gonna get all the flavors and gonna marry them together. Okay? Okay. So we're gonna add some rendered bacon. You gotta add the bacon. Apple with bacon. Yeah, you cannot go wrong with that. You're gonna mix this together. So you wanna get the flavor from the apple with bacon infused into the Brussels sprouts. That's that's the goal. That and looks then we really to good. make it all better, we're gonna add some maple balsamic. Just adding more flavor to it, or yes. did you need to add more liquid so that they get uh, softer? Both. Both. Okay. So the liquid is gonna help you get the uh, the Brussels sprouts warm all the way through, and it's gonna get that sweet flavor to it. Very good. So we're gonna toast this together. Make sure it's completely hot, and it's very simple to make, and it's it's, it's delicious. It's, it's it has the uh, zesty uh, sweet flavor of the balsamic vinegar. And it's a very good vegetable to serve with really any kind of meat, just to yes. get a little bit of green in your dish. Now, if you wanna, if you wanna put that right next to a uh, a ribeye, which is espresso rub, mm -hmm. um, and we serve it with a caramelized lemon and a rosemary leaf, um, it goes well together. It goes very, very well. Sounds really good. And you brought some steak along. You're gonna cook it. We can't have open flame in the studio. But what are some tips for people at home who might be grilling steaks this weekend? <clears throat> so the very first thing that you wanna do, number one, is preheat your grill. You want to start with your grill already hot, okay? You also want to, depending upon the steak that you want to cook, you can either marinate it ahead of time or you can brine them, which uh, brining is another cooking method. And it's all um, about that flavor ahead of it. Correct. Ahead of time. Yeah, so the brining process is going to get, it's going to retain all the juices and flavors of the steak, chicken, or any kind of protein that you want to cook. And Very then after good. that, you want to oil your grill and you want to cook it to the temperature that you want. Now the best way to tell temperatures is if you get one of these um, thermometers. Handy dandy thermometer. And take your internal temperature of the steak. Um, what temperature is the goal? 122 will be a medium rare. And then you go eight degrees above for the next temperature. So medium rare, medium, medium well, and all the way to 165 will be your well done. Very good. When I want a good steak, I'm gonna have Pedro cook it for me. You know, I'll do I don't that think for I you. can cook it as well as he can. Stop by Brio Tuscan Grill at the Liberty Center uh, to get a steak or lasagna because today and tomorrow, National Lasagna Days, uh, that's at Brio. Pedro, thanks for being here. My Great pleasure. tips. Thank